Can you play the uh, Bob Rivers did that song about it was to Yellow Submarine. It was about the uh, people going down and blowing up in the Titanic. Oh. The little Titanic oh, sub. Yeah, the Titanic. Now this song and actually, was <laughs> Bob did an edited version of it that we have. But he also completed this really fast. This happened right after the yeah, Titanic. No, but he didn't want to not, not be voted into the Hall of Fame. <laughs> So now that he's been voting the Hall of Fame. Oh, that's why the secrecy. Yes, we can play Bob's parody okay. now. Okay. He really thought that was. Okay. No, I don't think he was that worried, but. Okay. Okay. <laughs> To go down, tour the scene, but the sub's not certified. Better bring some drama, me. They went down in the flimsy submarine, <laughs> flimsy submarine. The price was quite obscene. You guys are gonna love this. It's safer than bungee jumping. <laughs> If you're poor and refugees, no one rescues you. Screw you. Choppy seas. There's no one seen. When you're rich, rich. lots of green. Guns of green. The whole world's looking for a flimsy submarine. It's just king. <laughs> they all died in a flimsy submarine. A joystick steers that thing. A flimsy submarine. We're all glued to the coverage on the scene <laughs> To find the submarine, the flimsy submarine They dove down in a flimsy submarine A flimsy submarine Yeah! Wow! Nice job, Bob. Damn, that was good. And it was so timely, too. I mean, we had it right then. <laughs> I wanted to play it, but... Well... <laughs> Bob made the, I'm so glad he made the Hall of Fame. He oh, me too. Really that thing did. about bungee jump, I think they did make that claim that it was safer than bungee jumping. <laughs> it was oh, factual. <laughs> did they say I, that? I think I think that he did, and they're like, they had... Based on what, right? <laughs> right, based on no, nothing. That, that's hilarious. Oh. And now everyone's pointing out how dangerous it was, including yes. Doug Llewellyn, who now says, it could have been me. How? After I heard the story, I was mo I was first I was like, oh my god, I'm going to see Doug Llewellyn doing an "It Could Have Been Me" about the, <laughs> the Titanic submarine that blew up. But instead, I became far more fascinated with the vocal fry of the reporter. Oh, <laughs> so uh, pay close attention. It's far more interesting than the Llewellyn story itself or anything Doug says. Again, <laughs> yes. News 13's Taylor Thompson reports Doug Llewellyn is also someone you'll likely recognize. <laughs> What? TV host and producer Doug Llewellyn Tell has been in Andersonville oh for the God. last 27 the years. Fry. Aside from hosting the People's Court, Llewellyn has uh. been a part of many TV specials, including Return to the Titanic Live. This project Ooh, involved an eight-week expedition down to the Titanic. We made 36 dives in a submarine that we had leased from the French French government. How come he doesn't have And uh, brought up over 2,000 artifacts from the ocean floor. You were one of the first people to go down he in a submarine it? to see Oh, I can't Titanic. listen to it because of her. Walk through that experience. It, it's something very few people had the opportunity to do. It was a very risky Risky proposition. I didn't know how dangerous it was when I went down. No, so well, it wasn't risky. It you didn't know it was risky. The memorable experience as they slowly floated down to the bottom of the ocean. I began to learn that uh, if there had been any kind of a spark from all of the electronic equipment in the sub, um, we could have imploded, which is what happened to. <laughs> it could have been me. Recently happened to the sub, uh, the submersible rather that went down. Uh, a week or so ago. It was a very safe submarine, but certainly at that depth, 12,500 feet, you know, anything could possibly go wrong. And if it did, we knew there was, there was no way, no help could get to us. When we saw the Titanic, when the lights hit it, it actually looked like an underwater Christmas tree. When you heard about this group of five <laughs> people going down that submersible, what were your, was your reaction and feelings, just knowing, you know, you've been in there? I can't really answer you. Your vocal fry is too distracting. That, that submersible <laughs> last week. One of them was P.H. Nargile, Commander Nargile, who was the head of our diving operations. Oh. I know oh. him really well. Oh, My name guess drop. is it imploded, and the five people who were in that, in that sub are dead. never knew what hit them. It happened so mm. fast. <laughs> 6,000 pounds of pressure pushing water into that device. While Llewellyn says it's hard to imagine what that amount of pressure can look like on the body, he shows a styrofoam cup that a pilot had put out in a mesh oh, bag cool. during a one prop. of their dives. And this is what he found. 
it had been compressed that small <laughs> by the pressure of the ocean. You know, I can't help but feel funny. deep sorrow for every one of those because everybody was so excited. So I'm glad about it about wasn't me. Experience. In Hendersonville, Taylor Thompson, News 13. Uh, Brandon, can you find any more Taylor Thompson <laughs> stories? I'm fascinated by her vocal fry. I, it doesn't matter what she's doing. I'd like to hear another story by her. I'm going to wager um, something I'm gonna say about, she, about I'm, her. What? That she has very small mouth capacity because she talks like oh. this. It's bad well, I'm starting to like her. Trudy, I love you referencing mouth capacity. It seems yeah. like it's really catching on. <laughs> Are you noticing it on people, too? Um, you know what? No. No. I have to. All right, here she is lying. Okay, I knew she was going to be pretty. I knew she'd be pretty because there's no way if the, she was an ugly girl and she talked yes, like so that, they wouldn't stand for it. The Southern Water Treatment Plan is back online as of earlier today, but it's a gradual process and one that can leave a person with water and then without water again until oh. the system is fully capacity. restored. If you think Small about capacity. the water treatment oh, plan, oh, 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 the water treatment, you can think so. Oh, more, the system. Yeah, more Taylor. flushing everything out and testing for water quality as they begin to refill the lines. Those closer oh, to the plant will oh. have water first. So we will have customers. How can she be in reporting? Why doesn't someone tell her you need to do something else with your mouth shut? Misery has been in effect for those in South Asheville, but it has began to reach more of the city. Began. And we have some residents in West mm -hmm. this process. Of Patient with that. Brand's just fast forwarding through anyone that's not talking but Taylor. People should begin to see their water coming back on by the hour, depending on how close they're located to the facility. The city oh, has been working to provide water to our most vulnerable. Those yeah. who this is the, the Hendersonville, children, the, the Hendersonville TV market. Hardly we have no, Hendersonville, Alabama. Alabama. Bark at, bark at 250 two one one starting yes. back at 9 a.m. tomorrow morning to have water delivered. Let's look for further. Uh, the she likes to edit, well. doesn't she? <laughs> That was Brandon, I thought. That was me. Oh, here we go. And the no, city I, says the best way to stay up to date with alerts is to sign up for the ABL alert capacity. system. You can do so by heading to that's our that's website. That's three and or four, three and a half. The goal is to have everyone's water restored by what, no later than alert. Friday. Where's a half and come Asheville, in? Taylor Thompson, News 13. <laughs> a real small guy. Taylor from many. It's real thin. <laughs> Who's that anchor? That anchor had a power rack. <laughs> oh, oh, there's oh, the power rack. the power rack. Oh, my God, you're right. Yikes. Oh, man. Wow. Uh, Hendersonville, North Carolina, Barca, Taylor, Taylor. <laughs> What's your name again? Taylor Thompson. Taylor Thompson. Taylor Thompson. 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 One, of the, one of the fine reporters at the marketplace. Uh, I want to see her sizzle real. Hopefully, to yeah. get to the Charlotte market, which would be a move up to a major market. <laughs> might have to stop at the Raleigh market in between what? or Winston Salem. Is there an agent who might be able to help her get to that? Board Beister. Board Beister could be very helpful. <laughs> Tell Bort to call her. Oh my God. How, why would someone not say, okay, you've got to learn to talk? You cannot have vocal fry like that and be on TV. It's just how they talk. It's now. so distracting. No, but I don't care what size market it is. That's, oh man, brutal.